PMQs. They're so depressing. Here they are today discussing MPs having a second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth job. He doesn't rule out further change and he has a chance to vote for change tonight. This is what he wrote in 2009. Being a member of parliament... Order! The questions will be heard and the answers will be heard. It's a very simple point which I hope everyone can grasp. Mr Ed Miliband. This is what he wrote in 2009 and I quote, Being a member of parliament must be a full-time commitment. The public deserves nothing less. And he went on to say, and I quote, double jobbing MPs won't get a look in when I'm in charge. What's changed? I think the, the, the difficulty, he says we should look at the specifics. The difficulty with his specific proposal is that it would allow, for instance, someone to be a paid trade union official, but it wouldn't allow someone to run a family business or a family shop. Two things here. Firstly, we're not talking about running a business or a family shop. I'm sorry, if you want to be an MP, you can't run your own business. You can't run a family bloody shop. How ridiculous to suggest that you are. This is supposed to be a full-time job with a full-time salary. And secondly, it's about being paid directors and it's about being a consultant for a firm that bids more than other contractors for a specific bit of work and they get it despite being £7 million more expensive than the cheapest. That's what people are pissed off about. It's the blatant corruption. It's not about being an MP and being able to run a shop. Unbelievable. So Peter Tapsell. Yeah. Yeah. May I uh, assure my right honourable friend? Order, Sir Pete, order. Sir Peter must be properly heard. Sir, from start to order, from start to finish. Sir Peter, may I assure my right honourable friend that I am not a paid trade union official. <laughs> but I fear that if people in this house are not allowed a second job, that membership of it will soon be largely confined to the uh, inheritors of substantial fortunes or to rich spouses or to obsessive crackpots. <laughs> or to those who are unemployable anywhere else. As opposed to the current lot of sitting MPs that do have loads of other jobs who are inheritors of substantial fortunes, who are obsessive crackpots, and are mostly unemployable anywhere else. After all, as Sir Peter shows here, where else can you get drunk on a free bar and be on television by 20 past 12 during the week? Unbelievable. Are you aware of uh, any MP, Labour MPs at Visi that get paid by trade unions? Well, I bow to Nick Robinson's uh... Research and judgment, but the point is about the principle. So you're why, not. Why, so let's you're think not. about what Labour is proposing. They're proposing uh, to ban paid directorships. What they're really saying is, you, as an MP, you shouldn't work for a business because they regard business as, I don't know, sleazy, corrupt. I'm sorry, being an MP means focusing on the people who put you into power, your constituents. You need to focus on their needs. You should not have another job. You can't be a bricklayer and a solicitor, can you? You can't run your own business and be an MP. An MP's job is not a part-time job. If you want a part-time job, go and work down the local shop. An MP's job is a full-time job. They shouldn't have a second job. Especially not jobs where they can use their influence and get paid tens and tens, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds to open doors for certain companies to get better deals so they make more money. It's utterly corrupt from its core. But Mr. Well, Bullivant's also saying, if you, if you, he's also if you saying have a family it's business right. and you come into politics, but, why should you not continue but to he's work for that also family saying business? It's... Jesus, this guy just doesn't get it. Because if you're an MP, that's a full-time job. If you run your own business and you want to become an MP, firstly, I would question why would you want to leave that business? 
probably because it's being run into the ground because you're not very good at running a business. And secondly, if you want to be an MP and you run your own business, you're going to have to sell your business or let somebody else run it for you. The people expect that an MP that represents them, is it really too much to expect them to work a full week in the job that we pay £67,000 each for, plus an unlimited expenses account? Is it really too much to ask? Who's going to ask for second jobs next? Teachers? Are we going to cut the school week down for three days a week so that teachers can go and earn a few more quid? Unbelievable. If you want to be a narcissistic MP like this bearded fool, well then you have to give up your other jobs. Simple as that.